Welcome back to the Howard Morrison story. Coming from a, a large family as you did, Howard, uh, there, were, there were bound to be more than just one songbird there, so I suggest you have a listen to this. <laughs> Do you recognize those voices? Oh, they have to be the sisters. Indeed. The blisters. The blisters. The skinny yeah. blisters. Judy, yeah. Bunce, Din, and Linda are here to join you tonight. The Morrison sisters. I say, these Morrisons are a good-looking crowd, aren't they, ladies and gentlemen? Please, be seated. Oh. We've put the noisiest one right down this end, Howard. you picked that already. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. She's the baby of the group. Oh, we spotted that a long time ago. A special piece of mu uh, music, Judy, before you came on. What was it, what's the significance uh, of that? Well, as you know, Howard, that's a very special song yeah. for us. Right. It reminds us of our really happy days in Ruatahuna, the place you love. And especially, it reminds us of our dad. Yeah, well, that's beautiful. You know, uh, one of the Just great things. Make thing. us sing it more. Yep, that's <laughs> right. Well, we might get them to do a bit more singing, actually. That would be, be a jolly good idea. Well, you know, the, the thing about this family is that, that you've all performed together. The performing spirit, and I should have mentioned before, Kahu, of course, a marvellous performer as well. And it runs through you. Uh, so how about we do something along those lines? I mean, aren't you, aren't you after all, the performing seals? <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> I mean, why don't we get you to sing something else? How about uh, To Anamai? Would you do that for me? For Howard? The Morrison system. To Anamai la kapua Songbirds, every one of them. That was absolutely beautiful. I want to thank you very much indeed. The magnificent Morrisons, Judy, Bunce, Din, and Linda. How is he going to make it Oh, Alex. Oh. Okay, you, you mum mentioned that your uh, your high school years are spent at Tauti College. Yeah. Uh, like many a young student before you, you were uncertain about what you were intending to do with your life. And following high school, you had a succession of jobs, including working at the Whakatū Freezing Works. Uh, a sort of a social singing club I understood they had there, and that was something you enjoyed. And it was one day, uh, in late summer, 1954, while you were working at that freezing company, that an opportunity came along that was a turning point in your life. That was the day that you were asked to join the Awapuni Māori Concert Party. Now, somebody who was with you that day <laughs> is your next guest. <laughs> Listen. Kia ora, Howard. You recognise the voice? Is that Virginia? Oh, that's wonderful. A voice from your past. Please welcome Virginia Fotorell. Then, now Virginia Sullivan, here to join you tonight. Welcome. <laughs> welcome along, Virginia. Yeah. Now, your, your family had known Howard since his days at Tauti College. Your mum actually taught Howard uh, there, taught him singing, spotted that obvious talent that he has. Let me set the scene for the day that I mentioned in 1954. Your mum had arranged for the Awapuni Māori Concert Party to do a tour of the South Island. On the day of the tour, you're on the bus heading down towards Wellington to catch the ferry, and you were one singer short. You're driving past the Whakatū Freezing Works, and what does your mum do? Remember, Howard? When Mum went along and asked if we would join our group, yeah. automatically you agreed. And down tools, <laughs> and you joined us on the tour. Yeah. That was a very special occasion. I mean, did you have any idea that day that that was going to be the beginning uh, of something that, that it turned out? Well, I knew I was ready for whatever was going to happen, yeah. but um, <laughs> uh, the, their family actually 
gave me my start. Right. Uh, the first disciplines of doing things right. Sure. Well, that tour went away, and uh, you were billed at one stage on that tour as the, uh, I think it was the Golden Voiced Boy from Sonny Hastings. There's an old poster, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but later on, of course, you went on to become a member of the Clive Trio, a headline. See, I only was third billing then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's the Clive Trio, and there is Virginia, Howie in the middle, of course, and Isabel on the other side. Now, what was Howard like in the trio, Virginia? What was he like? Because I always think he was a solo man. How did he go there? Well, <clears throat> he was very strong as a soloist, but as a group, <laughs> for the start, um, he was inclined to um, sort of jump from one tune to the other. You know, if he heard <laughs> mine, he'd li like mine. If he heard Izzy's, he would take Izzy's. So Izzy and I would <laughs> nudge each other and say, well, he's taken my part, I'll take his. No one else knew that but us. So we just carried on with the show. Yeah, you're covering for them, then, were you? Yes. Well, that's lovely. You know, it's a, it's a real special moment to have you two together again on the show. Something very valuable. The end of that trio came in 1955. It was a happy occasion, though. Virginia here got married. Howard, you were the best man. We have a lovely photograph. Look at the size of that wedding party, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Virginia. Now Virginia Sullivan in the middle, the husband, Fetu. The end of the trio was just the beginning of what was to be an incredible showbiz career for Howard Morrison. We continue that story after this break. In the moonlit Granada We'll live again the glories of yesterday Romantic and 